Hey guys, this is the third and last part of this VFX tutorial series, which is sure compositing. I know this video took too long because my compositing video is six hours long. So I have to finally decided that I have to make this tutorial as short as possible. So let's get started. So right now I'm back in my old tracking scene. And now we have to import our render PNG sequence. Make sure your project frame rate is same as your imported PNG sequence. Now it's going to be a little bit of messy project so we have to color code the layers. Now the yellow one is the normal background footage. And the blue one is our 3D rendered shape. Right now I just duplicate the background footage. As we analyze both footage, we can see the kid's hair is interacting with the ship. We need that ship behind the kid. So we have to rotate the character. But in this case, hair is the difficult part. For that I have a technique called Luma Base Keying. In this technique we have to isolate the character based on luminous value of the footage. Basically we are creating a mat out of a footage. For that we need 3 copies of main footage which is colored as orange you can see. On the first layer apply the colorama effect. On this go to the output section and choose ramp gray. And on the color wheel create a nice contrast between white and black. For a quick note, as we know in VFX, white means visible and black means transparent. But in this case we have to do opposite of that. We need white as transparent and black as visible. Now when you're happy with the black and white contrast, go to the second layer and select Luma inverted matte. After that take a ship layer and place it in between second and third layer. Now you can see your ship is behind the character. Right now we cannot ignore the white edges around the hair. So we have to remove it. To fix that we need to precompose the first two layers. You can name it as a mat. Now apply the matte choker effect and tweak some value as you like. And then apply most important effect which is refine soft matte. It will quickly solve your hair issues and remove the white edges. You can see hair is nicely rotored out. But here is a one catch. I have done one mistake while matting the scene. While creating matte, I removed the bright pixels of the sky. But also I removed foreground white pixels of the buildings. And it's quite problematic when you add other elements into the background. If you not fix this, then you get see-through effect from the buildings. For that, we need to fill those bright parts into black. Now go to the matte comp and fill the lower half portion into black by creating solid mask or shape. Now track the black shape on bottom half by creating manual keyframes. After doing that you can see the results on the main comp. On previous video I also extracted a light pass from Cinema 4D which is an EXR sequence to light up the inner core of the shape even more. As we import this file you can see this is the same shape image. Then where is the light pass? So there is a speciality of EXR file, it can store more than 3 channels. So it also has alpha and it also has a light pass in it. We need to apply an effect called extractor. After applying it, go to the input section of it and select the emission which is our light pass. Now you can see only the lit part of the ship. After that change its transform mode to add. You can change color or apply glow effect later on. For further compositing, I use a plugin called 
super comp from red giant after that it will create a new layer which is the baseline the super comp layer must be on top of every layer i know most of you guys don't have this plugin but you can get it from red giant store or you can watch this compositing video on the i button in this video i explain some terms and effects which will be covered in super comp but without plugins on effects control go to the super comp panel you can see on the left side there are all current layers track we need to put these layers on the right side in the stacking order like first background then foreground then other elements you can see on the top side there is a light pass layer click the plus icon on it and select the glow effect adjust its value as you like then also go to the ship layer click the plus icon and select light wrap it will wrap background light around the ship then also apply the haze effect on it to have that atmospheric look then also apply color correction to adjust highlights mid tone and the shadows of the ship you can also achieve this by lumetri color by without using this plugin by at last apply haze on character plate it blends the character into atmosphere After compositing the ship, now we are ready for the smoke. For that I have some video smoke elements which I am going to import in this scene. I just imported this above the super comp layer. The reason for that is, if you add any layer into super comp, you cannot edit the original comp. For flexibility reasons, I add the smoke out of the super comp. Make the smoke layer in 3D and adjust it in front of the ship. Transform your smoke layer as you like. Then mask it to the boundaries of the ship hole. It's ship hole. Okay. It needs to be look like it's coming from the hole. Feather your mask lines and it should not look like it's patched anymore. So blend it properly. For the more convincing effect, I just add many layers of smoke and play with their opacity. You can apply curves effects on them and adjust the contrast. Lastly, I apply flowing particle stock footage. Place it in proper place so that it flows into the camera. It basically creates a depth in the scene. So that's it. That's how I created this compositing shot. I know this is not a detailed video, but uh, I will try my best to explain things in detail in upcoming videos. So, if you like this video, if you understand a little bit of thing that I explain to you in this video, so hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any request for VFX tutorial, then comment down below. Till then, stay safe, be healthy and be awesome.